In an online world, businesses rarely meet their users face-to-face. -face. We've developed a number of products to help our clients verify that their users are who they claim to be, and then we run adverse searches on them to see whether they are potentially risky or not. My name is Hossein Kasai, and I'm one of the co-founders and also the CEO at Unfido Background Checks. I'm Eamon Jabawi, I'm one of the co-founders and the Chief Operating Officer at Unfido. We started the company almost four years ago after we started to work ourselves in the city at, at, at banks and we were background checked and we, we quite clearly could see that it was very much a broken process. It was slow, manual and efficient so we knew that it could do with a lot of improvements and, and technology was sort of a core component to that. At the same time, we saw that the world was changing and that we're moving from a world whereby people tend to know each other and interact mostly with those within our community to an increasingly globalized world, whereby we're constantly interacting with perfect strangers, ordering an on-demand nanny, a tutor, or a cleaner, or transacting money online with others who we don't know, and that instant trust is required. When there's a business trying to onboard users without seeing them face to face, it's increasingly an easy thing for a fraudster to pretend to be someone else to get onto a platform. And that's why we developed a number of different products combining facial recognition, identity document verification and a series of other things to be able to confidently say this person is who they claim to be. So in the early days, uh, convincing angel investors to part with cash is not easy. You need to show that you have a strong team, uh, a huge market that you want to grow into, a good solid product and, and good customer references. I remember vividly one of the early investment presentations didn't go so well. So it was just in a pub across the table with an angel investor and just a presentation and, and trying to persuade this investor that we're going to be a billion dollar business. And he just started laughing and he, he said, you know, are you even of age? Meaning, are you even 18? When it comes to uh, big decisions or tough decisions within the company, not only does it help having an incredibly smart group of people around us, but also a diverse group of people. We capture the, the four cultural traits that we have through four animals. The lion, be proud of your work. The chimp, which represents learning and teaching others. The penguin, collaborating and working in sort of teamwork. And fourth is a finch, to always think outside of the box and think of new ways of doing things. International team, an international company, um, you know, animals uh, speak no language, uh, you know, it crosses all barriers and it's something that everyone can relate to. Thank <laughs> you.